Hello there, welcome to Family Film Flashback. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Mrs. Doubtfire. Now, Mrs. Doubtfire... It... Um, by the way, the actor that plays Mrs. Doubtfire, in a lot of his movies, I love. Oh? Such as? Hook. Hook, yes. Um, what else? There's more movies. Popeye. Popeye? Um... <laughs> Popeye? <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, Aladdin. He plays Aladdin. the genie. Yeah, that's Robin Williams. Robin Williams plays uh, a divorced dad who is trying to see his kids more often, and he's a very playful, unmature dad. Yeah, immature, but yes, he is, and he's an actor, and his he's a voice actor, and what he decides to do is to take on the persona of a British nanny in full makeup, so he can see his children more often, um, mm -hmm. and uh, hijinks ensue. Now, what did you think about the movie, Kendall? I love that movie. You do. Um, it's very funny. Mm -hmm. um, it does have swearing. Does it? Yes, it I does. I remember. I mean, towards the beginning, right. it does. Uh, oh, it does. You're right. It does have a little bit of swearing. And uh, well, we'll get into that in a little bit. Now, your um, now, what are your what are your thoughts about the because the the the, the overall theme of the movie is kind of mature. It's a little older. It's about divorced parents, which uh, isn't addressed very often in family movies. What did you think about that? Well, I'm older and I know it, it is, but mm -hmm. um, if a little kid is watching this, and I think a little kid would love to see, like, you know, a, someone right. dressed up but would watch the clean version. But um, I think that if it is around five and under, I wouldn't suggest that part. Okay, yeah, I would say... Because they wouldn't want to get upset about it, or they, they might don't not, know what it means. They might not quite understand. I would also say that a kid 5 and under might not understand it at all, as far as the overall theme. Um, but, uh, they, no, that's it. They that's make fair. it upset, like, might, that, no, I like see their that. parent, yeah. I, mean, I could see that, all right. Um, but you enjoy the movie, though. Yes. Because, I mean, there's some silly parts in it. Robin Williams is a funny actor, and he did some funny stuff in it. Right? Yeah. All right, good, good. Uh, now, Mrs. Doubtfire definitely um, has mature themes in it, has some adult themes in it. As far as divorce, Funny. there's a, a parents fighting. Uh, there's some a pretty brutally honest, you know, fights in it between uh, Robin Williams and uh, um, Sally Field, who plays his, his ex-wife. Um, now, so I think that might be a little tough for some younger kids to watch, uh, and they might not quite understand, or may hit cl too close to home. Um, but at the same time, I think kids of divorced parents might might appreciate that. Um, and might understand a little better. It might be nice for them to see that there's a movie out there that addresses and their... And that their... other kids have divorced right. parents. Right, yeah, because not everything's squeaky clean. Um, the beginning of the movie, I have to know, has got a brilliant sequence in it. They show Robin Williams performing as a voice actor to an animated feature mm -hmm. uh, by Chuck Jones, who is my favorite animator. He's just yes. brilliant, brilliant. Um, and so Chuck Jones, actually, who, who was friends with Robin Williams in real life, um, he directed that short piece, which is, it's fantastic to watch. It's, it's really great. It, it's good drawings. It's, it's a great character. I love it. Um, and, and again, the themes are a little older. Um, I mean, there are, uh, as Kendall pointed out, I think there is some swearing in it. I don't remember. In the beginning. I should remember. I don't know what they said, but I know there was swearing. No. Um, and as Kendall said, it's, it might be older kids to watch. And it's not even, again, it's this, they might not quite understand the whole divorce thing yeah. if they're not familiar with it. And, some of the themes just might go over their heads. Some of the jokes might go over their head. The cartoon, which he likes, and I'll explain. It's like oh, it's about right, yeah. like this bird smoking, and um, he try when he's doing the voice, he says words that's not in the script to say like kids don't, right, but right. the writer wants him to like doing it, but he doesn't want right. kids, so, and it's he's trying to teach kids right. not. Yeah, to. that's a nice little lesson in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but overall, it's it's a fun movie. Robin Williams is brilliant in it. Pierce Morgan is plays the new love interest for the mom, uh, and he's great. Uh, Pierce Morgan, Pierce Bronson, I'm sorry. Um, not Pierce Morgan. <laughs> Pierce Morgan. <laughs> Pierce, uh, Pierce Bronson, prior to him uh, taking over the Bond role. Um, I always liked Pierce Bronson. So, um, so yeah, it's it's overall, it's it's, 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 a, it's a classic movie. It's a great Robin Williams piece, too. I mean, if you haven't, you know, just Robin Williams, yeah. is, it, it shows off a lot of his dramatic work and his, his being silly. And he's, he's he plays always a, silly. He's and never he, not silly. Well, that, well, for the movies you've seen, he's done a lot of drama, which is um, none of the movies you've seen yet, um, which is uh, fair because they're not for kids. Um, but this stuff he shows he's got, some, he's got some range in his acting. And he's silly. He plays a British nanny in it in full makeup. And it's pretty, it's hijinks ensue. But, um, By the way. Yes. 
There is another uh, uh, movie of his that is called Hook, and it does not have any swearing. It's about Peter Pan, and I think a lot of kids. Will right, I don't think it. that's on our list of movies to review because it's, it's a little not, later. It's a later, but it's. But I'm still. I yeah. I love that movie. So. Right, there. That's good. Nice huh? recommendation. All right, Kendall, your final thoughts? Um, yes, this is a good movie. I love this movie. Yes. Very much. Um, but you said for older kids, so. Yes, around seven. Seven, I think, was fair. You were probably, I think you were eight when you saw it. I see, yes. Um, it was last year, actually, in the summer. Right. And um, I would get the clean version if you were doing it around, like, five would still do the clean version. Yeah. Uh, we ABC Family shows it a lot, which I think was where we probably saw it. Um, and yeah, it's definitely um, it's it. it's a good movie to watch uh, with the family. But again, there may be some explanations uh, that are required when you're watching or after you watch it for younger kids who might not quite understand the themes. But and I will not to give away the ending at all. I love the way the movie ends. I, I love it. it. There's not a very tr Hollywood ending to it. It's a fairly I mean it's still it's you know a fairly Hollywood ending, but it's more realistic mm -hmm. given the circumstances of the movie than, than most movies would, would handle it. So um, that much I really appreciate it. If you if you don't want to tell your kid like what about the beginning, either skip it or don't watch it at no, all. No, I agree. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.